Welcome to Silver Shells Bling Party. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And here we are on this lovely Thursday evening. We are into December already. And I'm so glad 2020 is almost behind us. So anyway, look for the red light in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, if that's on, we're live. Look for the notification bell down in the right-hand corner. It's it, uh, not always there. Well, sometimes it's Depends on the device. Yes, yes. So Cindy and I are two women from Sonoma County, and back in December last year, we decided to start interviewing people. We have interviewed 94 people so far. And, and we, we're on 95 and We're on tonight. 95 tonight. We've interviewed so many people. Walter Trout, Levi Lloyd, Anthony Paul. Oh, my gosh. And tonight we have Ms. D. Logwood with us. I'm very excited. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. Okay. Enough about Here us. Here she is. Hello. Hello. D. How Ms. are you? Thanks. Good, good. So you are a singer, songwriter, and uh, you are one of the Bay Area's most sought-after singers. You just have a huge, you collaborate with everybody, it seems like. I've been so fortunate. You've they been... call me, they say, can you do a gig? Can you come and sing? Can you record? And I'm like, me? Of course. Little I'm old me. Alive. Always delighted. It's a surprise. I always remember your rendition of Fever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, so you were sweet. Dancing in that one. Yeah, years ago to the Groove Team. Yeah. To the Groove you had, Team. You had some moves with that handsome guy. I did, and I still do. She's still with the handsome oh, guy. Still. Yeah, baby. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So. So, Ms. D, what what would you like me to call you? Ms. D? D? D, okay. All right, Just D. call me D. So, you grew up in Oakland, uh, California, is that correct? Well, the Bay Area. The Bay I'm Area. Berkeley, Oakland, Richmond, Oakland. So, just say the San Francisco Bay Area. The Bay Area, yeah. And so, were you? Uh, your mother was musical, and uh, you were her <laughs> Your fir- her, and she still is. You're her firstborn. And so yeah. what kind of music did you grow up with? All kinds of music. I was very fortunate. She loved jazz. And so since, she's, since she is an organist, she loved, you know, McGriff, you know, and Billy Preston and Mozart and Beethoven and, you know, everybody from classical on to the jazz. 
Okay. Uh, and I got, I got to hear all that stuff growing up. So she was a choir director. Is that correct? That's mm -hmm. what you said. Oh my gosh. I call her minister of music. She goes, no, don't say minister, but <laughs> she is ministering the music to the masses of people. I'm just, she's just not a braggadocious woman. She's very humble. Very humble. Yes, that's what you yeah. said, but a huge inspiration to you. So uh, did you play with your mom? Did you, uh, uh, like, start any bands when you were younger, or was she in a band, or just purely a choir no. director? It was purely um, musical uh, concerts, uh, fashion shows. Everything was surrounded by that sector. You know, it wasn't any soul, R&B, hopping up and down. She's very classy. Okay. So everything was pretty strict. Mm -hmm. When you start doing Mendelssohn and Mozart and Bach and Beethoven, it's a whole nother vibe. She was an opera singer in high school with, you know, with the school drama program. Well, that's interesting. She never, because... she never brags about that kind of stuff. She said, oh, well, it was something I did. Did you train in opera? Did you take? No way. I didn't even start singing. I was afraid to sing. I was very shy. I don't know. I was afraid to sing, and I didn't start singing until I was a teenager, and I started my own group. So, how did you overcome your shyness, or did you, or do you just deal with it on a, you know, a daily basis? I just deal with it. <laughs> I just jump in that costume and go, no, I'm Miss D. No, I'm Miss D. That's... On, it's, a, it's just two separate people. You and Miss D? People. I totally, I Ms. totally D. understand that. She's the entertainer. So. Uh, I entertained people when I was a kid. When I was a little kid, I had a little show going on in the garage. E I was doing a one-woman show, pantomiming to the radio stations. And I love, that was in the 60s, so I was listening to Pretty Woman and, you know, The Temptations, you know, the KDIA and all those radio stations were popping back then. And so I'm on my father's workbench. I'm putting on the show to the neighborhood kids. I charge them for, uh, to get in the door, you had to pay a pop bottle. You had to give me a pop bottle to see. I could recycle that. Right, right. And I had cheese toast and popsicles for intermission. How oh, how much fun is that? And you were all this while you were a shy child. It was a little. It was the little rascal. <laughs> now, uh, are your siblings? Do you have siblings? Yes, my brother is a fantastic drummer in the Bay Area. His name is Mister Pockets. Mister Pockets. That's interesting. Mr. Why? Pockets. He's a pocket dude. Why is he Mister Pockets? Because he plays in the pocket. In the pocket. He is straight. In all day long, <laughs> okay. Bass gotcha. players love him. It went over my head first. So okay, it's all right. <laughs> so did you uh, did you have a band with your with your sibling? Did you play with them? Yeah. Brother, we it's Miss D and the VIP. Miss D and the VIPs. Yeah. And we so have we have a variety of people. You have a variety, and you have a variety of styles. So you grew up but just kind of like with the radio and all sorts of blues, reggae. Do you have a favorite genre? No. No? No, I'll jump in any of them that I can fit in uh, if it's necessary. That's why I'm a freelance song stylist, because I found myself able to do other work. You know, there's jazz, there's the duo. I opened for James Brown with just a guitar player, me and a guy named Paul Wood. We we started doing the duo, which made it easier to get into these really cool spots, you know, opening acts. And uh, then also I have a trio. When I was in Italy, I had a trio. I had an orchestra. I've been in big bands. So I just opened my mind to learning the script. Okay. Like if you get Song and you said, D, I want you to sing it like this. You're the director. I have to follow you. So I'm an actress. Well, so I'm curious because I know, I remember Johnny Otis's um, cafe in Sebastopol. Ooh. And I'm aware I mean, that you were singing there for Johnny Otis. Yes. I did Wang Dang Doodle. Wang Dang Doodle. I did, uh, 
there's a couple of songs he liked for me to sing. It was fun working with Johnny Otis. That was one of the best adventures of my life. How did you run into him? How did you come to How? sing for him? How? He, he uh, Gail Muldrow, one of the singers in the band, they call her a little bit. Mm -hmm. Guitar player, vocalist, awesome, extraordinary singer. She brought me to Johnny. Nice. And he said, sing me a gospel song. And I sang, we've come this far by faith. He said, that girl can sing. That girl can sing. And next yeah. thing I know, I'm in the band and I was looking for six years. Wow. So you're also, do you, do you, are you a session recordist also? Yes. Yep. Lots of session work. All right. So you play. Actually, our last it. video for tonight will show you some of that, I think. All right. Yeah, good. Good. All right. So, uh, speaking you of videos, are you ready for a video? I think we're, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think we're ready for a video. Do you look so lovely? Okay. I love your hat. Amazing. Oh. Always looks I'm amazing. Hats in All right. And plus, I have a I have a trivia question that we will get back. We will uh, get to when we get back. Okay. I have a fun trivia. So we question. have the Mario Puno Large Band. Ms. Oh, wait D. Let me get the name right for you. Thank you. It's Maurizio Puno. Maurizio Puno. 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 Maurizio Puno. Okay. okay. <laughs> do you speak How many languages do you speak? None. None? I speak English right, gosh darn it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the song is called Where to Go. All right. So we all need we'll to find know. out where to go. We all need to know where to go. Where to go. Here all we right, go. here we go. <laughs> Street, nobody know my name. Just a face in a crowded alleyway. Somehow I never felt ashamed. You gotta roll with the flow, they say. You are what you are to be. What fate will come over?
But now, we're back. And I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. And we are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And you are watching Bling. Silver Shells Bling Party. So uh, like us and share on Facebook. And look for the red light in the upper left-hand corner. If that's on, we're live. And we... You can comment and ask Ms. D some questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, we are going to say hi to some people. So, uh, Elisa, hello, my darling. We have Elisa, we have Gary Chateau, we have Jane Minker Sorensen. Hey, Jane. Sh Shannon Williams is watching. My mom, Lorraine Jenkins. Sterling. Yeah. Sterling Hoffman, great artist. Greg Wilson is watching. Kathy January, how are you doing? Oh, I, Kathy. And yeah, thanks Red. for joining us. And Gary. Red. Yeah, and nice. I want to say uh, hi if my son is watching. Hi to my son, Zach and heaven and sabrina and mason and riley <laughs> there we go and my sister Kay. i love you okay back to miss all right back to miss d do you want to say hi to anybody miss d if anybody's watching mention anybody hi to levi hi to johnny hi to lynn hi to everybody in the northern part of california one of the best partying places in the world you know it you know it, and you've been, so you spent, now what, what took you to Europe for 17 years? Oh, it was a blessing. I was singing in San Francisco, and the Italian guys were there playing with Anthony Paul. And I was at Lou's Pier, Lou Pier 47 back in the day, and I sat in with them, and they asked me, have, you know, have you ever been to Italia? And I said, no, I would love to go. And they said, you're going to go. And then the next year, I got a ticket right before my birthday. First time I ever left the country. Really? I don't know what year. I don't remember years. Isn't that weird? No. I but can't. you know, I, I think it's amazing the work that you've been doing, oh. with Maurizio. Can't remember years. So anyway, you're in. You you got over there to Europe and yeah. Italy. And then you met, you started playing with people, or, and you decided to stay there? Yeah, I just, what you know, if you stay out of the country more than three months, you get tricked out. Right? So I only could stay in three months since. I could come back and stay home for a month and go back. So I did this back and forth for many, many years. Oh. And I ended up in Germany, Switzerland, Paris, Austria. Oh my God, there's so many places we went. You know, uh, Europe is small. It's not that hard to get around. Right. Everything's close, really close. Right. It, so it was cool to go between, you know, go from here to Switzerland and then end up in Brussels and, and Belgium and then Amsterdam and then maybe over to Germany. You know, it's and an it's hour cool. later, right? <laughs> yeah. it's easy. Train ride is easy to get around. The trains are easy to you know they're on time they're on time <laughs> they're always on time yeah so what was your favorite place be... what was your favorite place to play over there your your best venue mm -hmm. okay let's see i'll say venezia oh. venezia okay i got a chance to play in saint mark square and uh that was amazing. They put us on a 50-foot screen. The, the whole square was full of people, and I got people on the stage to dance. That's one of my favorites, but all all of Europe is beautiful. I love it all. Are the audiences different there? 
They're into it. They're into it. They appreciate on Western music. I they, think they I think here in Sonoma County we have good audiences. They appreciate us. Do they get up and dance like we do? They get up and dance. They cry. Oh. On the slow, sad, some especially the Italians. They're so emotional and they get into it. Oh. And I don't think it's a language barrier because music is the universal language. Right. So right. They understood the feeling. They understood the emotion. And so, and you feel connecting with the audience is really important, right? You know, you bring joy and yes, it's love. a healing for, for 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 me. It's a healing for them. Music is a healing thing. It is. It is, and it's also a good way to connect, express a lot of emotion, and people can, you know, they feel it and relate to it. And wow. So you spent 17 years? They can in feel it. That's interesting, huh? You can feel it, and you don't even know what somebody's saying. Right. You just know it's something. You feel so it in your heart. Spiritual. Yeah, I, I feel that when I hear mm -hmm. opera, certain pieces. It just yeah. soars. I'm just lucky to do it. I, I'm, just blessed. I'm just blessed and fortunate enough to put out the emotion. Yeah. So you came back from, from uh, so you, you've been going back and forth to uh, Europe and you just play with the same people or play with different people each time and they just ask you to duo, trio, big band? There's three bands. There's uh, Maurizio Cunha's band and there's also Tommy Sneller from Germany. Fantastic saxophone player. I worked with him quite a bit on tours in Germany. Okay. He has a hot band. He's so full. He sounds like Dr. John. Dr. He's John. a soul brother in Germany. He's like the brother from another mother. When I go there, I got a place to live. Nice. And it's awesome. It, so it. Then, then that's the German band. And then I have a band in Amsterdam. My goodness. My when, friend gets around. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. A little bit. You you played with a lot of people. Oh my gosh, Robin Ford and Stephen Stills. Did you open with them? Yeah. And that they. Yeah. So. Yeah, Stephen Stills. We opened out there in um, Santa Rosa. Oh, Stephen Stills and and Robin Ford. I got a chance to do the Michael Bloomfield um, Memorial Band. Oh, nice. Them. Nick Gravenite was in it. Oh, man, Nick Gravenite, I super. remember him. Nick Gravenite. All right. Oh, he's the man. All right. So we got everybody watching. Okay. All right. We are going to give Ms. D a trivia question now. Not you don't, Ms. D. It's uh, not for Ms. D. No, this is for everybody, but don't you answer it because you know the question. But right. okay. The answer. All right. In 2018, <laughs> did you a participate in a jazz tribute to Stevie Nicks? B participate in a jazz tribute to the Carpenters, or C participate in a jazz tribute to ABBA? So everybody watching, put in your guess, and we'll see who's right. Gary will guess. I know the answer. Gary always guesses. <laughs> Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary's the guy. He'll look it up really fast. Or maybe he's got... He knows stuff. Gary knows stuff. Gary knows. Oh, I want to say hi to my boyfriend, Crowbar. Hello, honey. Oh. Oh. Do you know Crowbar? Are you a member of Artista? We got to hook you up, girl. Yeah. We're going to hook you up with Absolutely. Mr. Crowbar. Okay, so nobody's guessing anything right now so we were talking about how many languages do you speak you said none but do you speak italian it's funny it's easy when you're around it but when you come home nobody speaks it so i caught up with it when i was around it and they they're all fluent in english so they were enjoying speaking english and i wanted to learn some italian so they taught me some words you know but mainly we speak because they want to practice speaking, I understand what they were saying sometimes all right we have one guess from you Joyce gotta watch, you gotta watch what you say you might insult somebody so I didn't want to say anything and say the wrong thing 
because it's that male female thing, you know, like you know, like Spanish. You know, you got to know what you're saying. The la and the lay, right? The female oh, and male. La. La, lo, no, la, la, lay. O and A. O and I? O Actually, and a. I don't if, know. if it's A E I O or, or U, it's an Italian name at the end. Right? Okay. I'm not, I I don't know. My dad would, had an A. a <laughs> <laughs> so look, okay. Uh, Gary says he would, he's driving right now or he would look it up. Okay, so Gary, I'll guess for you. Uh, let's see. We have two guesses for A uh, as jazz tribute to Stevie Nicks. Okay, so. Uh, we'll just so, keep. We'll answer yeah. that later after after she that. She just shook her head no. What? She shook her head no. At what? At the question. At the answer. Well, I, I saw the body language. She <laughs> shook her head no. See? See? Eh, eh. See? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna eliminate A. A is eh. eliminated. Eh. Okay, so A is not correct. So B, participate in a jazz tribute to the Carpenters, or C, participate in a jazz tribute to ABBA. <laughs> All right, we'll go on. So you came back. Where did you, and in 2005, you recorded, was it your first CD that you did on your own? Yes, I hope. You I'm hope? terrible with years. I have to have the information in front of me. Okay, I, I, I live in the moment. So much. I don't know. So, uh, and you write. You wrote. You wrote a lot of your songs, right? Sure did. You are good. I wrote a lot of songs with Mauricio. But the cool part about Mauricio, he's such an excellent musician. He gave me uh, MP3s of a bunch of songs that he wanted to have lyrics put to. Oh. Down in the middle of my bed in Amsterdam. I got a room in Amsterdam for a week. And I, t I had a week off, so I went there. And I sat in my room, and I listened, and I wrote the lyrics down. One hint that he gave me was, I want this to kind of sound like Dr. John. Or I want this to kind of sound like, you know, whoever this guitar player was. So okay. I thought about the person listened to their song, understood their character, and then I wrote around that. So a lot of songs on the album I wrote just hanging out, laying around in Amsterdam. And Amsterdam was my fun getaway. It's such a grown-up town. Everybody's an adult. Everybody's cool. Everything is cool, except I found out that it's a little bit weird. They're shutting down all the musical venues there, so it's really hard to get a gig there right now. Oh, it's because well, of the COVID, right? For that, they were really against the musical thing, and it was it was a, a actual um, protest going on one year when I was there against the administration shutting down musical venues. Live music? Why would they be against live music? Yeah. Oh. I know. Sorry. I don't know what they were doing, but it's not good to get rid of music people. No, we need the arts. We need the arts for critical thinking. We need the arts for uh, our mental health. Music. I think mental health is the biggest thing. Oh, I, I, my music is my go-to when no matter how I'm feeling, well, happy, sad, moody, indifferent. Yeah. You know, I just. And when it's live, and when it's live, you're getting it right there, then and there. It's like right out of the oven, you know. That's yeah, my favorite. That strange That's me. live music. But I got a blast. I, I got to play with Candy Dolfer. Candy Dolfer. Oh my gosh. Well, he, here we have another video. Mauricio okay. Puno. Puno. Mauricio Large Puno. Band. Puno. 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 Mauricio Puno. <laughs> I can't do it. Puno. Okay, we're not going to talk to my Italian daughter. Okay, no. Um, I, I would mispronounce <laughs> her name, you know. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and run Sugar Man. Do Sugar you want to tell us anything about that before we run it? I thought about any, you know, I've had a few sweet nights, guys, in my life. Not all of them have been bums. But <laughs> mm -hmm. Good for you. When you think about a really sweet guy, you like to enjoy him drinking your coffee, you know, 
while you have lunch. He's so sweet. You know, that's why I said, I like to have you with my coffee. Don't even even have a treat. He's a treat. He's a sweet man. I thought about, you know, sometimes I have to use my imagination when it's not. <laughs> right? <laughs> or maybe you're just remembering me and Lalo. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> They're still sweet a great man. couple. Okay. okay. Sweet man. I know he's out there somewhere. Where are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. We're going to run Sugar Man. Sugar Man. All right. This is dedicated to all those lovely men tonight. Ah, uh, you know, you're a good man. Sugar man. <laughs> All right, let's party. Come on, come on. Your sugar's so sweet to me. Sometimes I have you with my coffee, or maybe just to have a treat. When he takes me in his arms, my whole body gets weak and warm, and then he takes all my blue away, and he makes it sweet every day. It's a sweet thing, yeah. Such a good man. So handy. Don't ever leave me, honey. Sweet sugar, sweet, sweet sugar. Sweet sugar, sweet, sweet sugar. It takes all my blues away. And it makes it sweet every day. Oh, come on. It's a good thing, yeah. 
such a sweet man. Yes, you are. How I love him. Right now. And we're Happy back. Amazing. We are back. I'm Silver Shells. I'm Cindy Jenkins. We are the, the Bling, Bling Sisters. Sisters. And we are interviewing Ms. D. Logwood. She is our 95th guest. And so she's down in the Bay Area. We've been talking with her about, oh my gosh, all sorts of. So why did you get into the big band? Do you just like the production of it or you know because you do duos and then you do big band you know we're called to do things i agree and you get a calling it's like a minister you get uh you hear the mm -hmm. voices and then you get the phone call and then you get the contract and then you get the confirmation now if you can't do it somebody else will so when the call comes i go and even if i don't know the material i'm going to learn it because us. That stage is sacred ground. That's what an honor to be on that stage. Yeah, yeah, and on the CDs and spreading your love around. It's it's uh, it's great. And so, you are also have local ties up to Santa Rosa. You know Levi Lloyd and Donnie Medeiros and and those guys. So how did you meet those those guys? I knew Levi in Oakland. He's an Oakland boy. We did gigs in Oakland way before he went up north. Who? Jeffrey White is a drummer that lives, in, uh, lives up there. I've known Jeffrey. Jeffrey was my neighbor for years. He's an awesome drummer. Donnie, I met through Levi. Um, who else do I know up there? Oh, let me see. Not very many people I know personally that live up there. But, and if I, oh, well, Nikki Otis and all those guys. I know the Otis family, of course, and we play in different bands together. So it's all it goes from here all around the world. I'm so blessed to know so many people. There's over a hundred VIPs that I've had in my band over the years. From Garth Weber to Bobby Vega. That's another one that lives up there, Bobby Vega. Okay. He played with Zero, he played Power of Flower, he played with Eddie James, you know. I've been so lucky to work with these giants. Oh, write that name down. I with Jeff. Jeff. Which one? Jeff what was from, the name? Uh, Power Power Band. What was his name? Jeff Tamalier. Jeff Tamalier. Okay. Jeff Tamalier. Jeff Tamalier played Power Power guitar player. Played with Journey Power Power. Nice. Ooh. So who would you like to play yeah. with that you haven't played with that's yeah, alive? Anybody. anybody. You know, I really want to play with Sting. I want to sing background for Sting. Wow. That'd be awesome. Hey, let's see what Sting. we can do. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we'll I, I call in some in favors. His, I'm in touch with his assistant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. We could get Sting on here. You never know. You just never know. Who, you know. All you got to do is ask. The 4th of July, well, you know, recently, the 4th of July, I did a show in Katati at the Katati Recording Studio with a band called The Killers. The Killers? And we were on july macy's show now how long ago was that because the killers that i know are, are this some, year this hot, year here that i know the killers i know the killers they're a young band I was singing background for the killers on the video we were at the macy's fireworks show and i'm singing background for the killer band nice did did they do the album hot you fuss didn't see me. i didn't see you i'm no, so sorry i was looking too yeah we were we look we, we look Free. Land of the free. Land of the free. 
video. You sent me a lot of videos. I had to choose three out of the yes. five or six you sent, and it was hard. It was hard to choose. Oh, uh, one was live, and I usually shy away from the live because the sound quality just isn't there. Oh, so uh, we have a question. Uh, Ms. D, have you recorded any duets with Jackie Payne? No duets. No duets. And then... Uh, Jackie, I would do that. No, no duets with Jackie. I just did, on Johnny Otis' album, I did my own whatever solo song I did, but Jackie Payne would have been a blast. To do. Maybe it can still happen. Maybe. Uh, and where was your last video recorded? Oh, you said it was in the last video that we just that was saw. Fourth of July. Right. Where Where was it? Where were you? In Katadi. In Katadi. It was okay. In that was okay, in Gary. Katati. It okay. was in Katadi. And Gary Chateau wants to know. Uh, wants you to know that you sounded and looked amazing, as always. Oh, yay! You got another fan out there. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. That is right. So, what's what uh, what have you been doing in lockdown with the all the coronavirus? Do you zoom or are you writing music? Yeah, I've done a few gigs outdoors. Uh, the B Street Bistro in Hayward. I've been playing there. Uh, I've done three gigs there. I was doing a. I just did a gig up there in um, Calistoga at Buster's. Calistoga. I've been up there, but I don't think I've been to Buster's. So are they? Are Buster's they? Buster's a great barbecue joint. Outdoors is outdoors. Everybody was distancing. Everybody wore their masks. The band was awesome. I did two gigs there. Nice. Outdoors. It was like two to five. And then I do. Uh, you know, I've been really lucky. I've been picking up gigs in really cool places where. Uh, we're across the street in beast at the beast store. We're across the street from the club, but you get to hear the band and you get to dance in the streets and there's, you know, the bar and everything. So people are doing it. We're just being careful. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get to do this. We're going to all just. Okay. So what is like, your next, uh, gig? Um, B street. In Hayward on the 12th. Oh, you did say that. B Street, Hayward on the 12th. we said it twice, so people will remember. That's right. Boy. That's right. That's going to be fun. I'd like to make it down there sometime, but. Yeah. Okay, what else I'm do you have going on? We're, we're, we're winding up now. It's uh, about 6.43. Okay. And uh, we need to reveal the answer to these trivia questions. Okay. What was the trivia question All right. to start with? In 2018, did you A, participate in a jazz tribute to Stevie Nicks? And we know that's a no. Did you B, participate in a jazz tribute to the Carpenters? Or C, participate in a jazz tribute to ABBA? Okay, any more guesses, Gary? Gary. All right, what's the answer? The you Carpenters. Can, the Carpenters. Can you believe? I I never thought that there would be a jazz tribute to the Carpenters, but I, I read the reviews, and they yeah. said it really went really well. That's amazing. It's a great album. That was my that was my adventures in Singapore with the fabulous Jeremy Montiero. He's the uh, director of all the music in Singapore, and he flew me in there, and... Man, I did a couple of Christmas shows with him. I've done some tours with him to China. And so I'm on two of his albums. Nice. That is, that's pretty exciting. So Gary gave us another guess, even though he was wrong. We had already revealed the answer, Gary. So catch Gary. up. Yeah, yeah, C. <laughs> it's Carpenters. It's B. That was funny when I read that. I thought, oh, my gosh. And then I read about it in uh, the Asia there's an Asia magazine, the Singapore. And yeah, they yes. said it it was well, well the songs were really good. Me, come, baby. Remember that song? Superstar. Yeah, Superstar, yes. Oh, she had some beautiful songs. That 
Formica to write. Karen Carpenter rock. She did. Yeah. I heard that uh, she just liked to keep it mellow. She was just kind of a smooth crooner. Okay, well, let's talk about the last video we have here, which is also with Maurizio Puno. Maurizio Puno. Puno. I keep Puno. wanting to say Puno. It's not. It's Puno. 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 I, I think I have it now. Puno. I, I hope he's not watching. Puno. Okay. Puno like a good, good al dente pasta. <laughs> so the next episode is the next... The next I wrote song. That, I wrote that song um, after I realized that my blood pressure was so high. I was hospitalized. Oh, my. With the high blood pressure? I survived. I, survived. I didn't know I had high blood pressure. So you just started feeling really crappy and then? My nose started bleeding on stage. Oh, no. Really? Mm -hmm. how, how? I'm singing in my nose. So I took some tissue and put it in my nose, and I was singing like, I know. and then um, Alberto's wife was like, D, you cannot die in my casa. Your family would kill us. So they took me to emergency, and they found out it was too high, and then they gave me medication, and then I'm better. But okay. that album, next episode, I survived it. Nice, nice. Well, we'd like to thank everyone for joining us on this beautiful Thursday evening. It is December 3rd, and 2020 is, thank goodness, winding down, Cindy. It is winding, winding down. down. We're... I'm happy, though. I'm, I'm, I'm having a birthday coming up. Ooh, it's Christmas birthday. time. I've got my signature blue Christmas tree up. Yes, you do. Yeah, it's good times, man. We ought to do a show me your tree. Yeah, we'll, yeah, so, do something so, like that. Any, yeah. Anyway, Ms. D, do you have, do you want to have any parting words for your fans and everybody? I just want you, I just want you to keep blinging, ladies. Keep blinging. I love the bling. The bling is I good. The bling. You. you can be one I of our blingers. It. And I'm hoping we can get together and have a little coffee or something. Sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, if absolutely. You, if you're up in Santa Rosa, you need to look us up. We yeah. have a guest room, so awesome. don't don't even worry about where to stay. We'll wear hats. Oh. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Come on up. Let's keep the party popping. Keep the party popping. We're That's going right. to. We're going to. Okay, we're going to end now. All right, everybody. All right. Thanks for joining us. I love you all. You're just all... We love our fans. We, we love them. Yeah. All okay. right. Okay, guys. See you next Thursday with Rudy Columbini. Ooh, that'll be a good show. That'll be a really Rudy. good show. Yes. And thank you, Ms. D. Logwood, for joining us. We really appreciate it. We've had a very nice chat. Have a good weekend ciao 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 bye. for now bye here we go watch when the sky open up and i saw your smiling face a love so red could not compare has just begun Then a sweet tender voice Called my name out low Inside of my mind It was time To pack my suitcase Move along to the next episode. To the next episode. To the next episode. I wanna go to the next episode. Moving and keeping and keep Cause I want to be free. To the next, to the next episode. episode.
Quello che volevo. Eh. La Madonna, te l'ha annunciata. 